So all in all, though, he's going to be a quarterback position there as well. It seems like it's going to be a really bad offense. What's yeah. your take on how that's going to affect Jordan Howard next year? Well, they were a bad offense last year, and Jordan Howard still kind of transcended that. That's that's kind of what I've been going on this whole free agency season because uh, pe- this is pe- this has been brought up a bunch mm-hmm. of times. Like, I think Howard is a, a, a kind of back who can catch passes. He can be out there on third downs if they're if they're losing and you know need to eat up chunks of yardage. He can be that pass catching back. And we saw him transcend a horrible, you know, situation last year and had, what, like six or seven straight games with 100 yards and scored a bunch of touchdowns. And Mm -hmm. I think, I mean, you know, it's not an ideal situation, but I think he can transcend it. And, you know, maybe he's not going to be a top 10 fantasy back if he's in such a bad situation, but I think he'll be a high-end RB2, like, at worst. So if I can... You know, play devil's advocate sure. uh, there on that is that that sounds an awful lot like what people said about Todd Gurley last year. Right. Yeah, he succeeded on a bad offense in his rookie year. You know, he's transcends and yada, yada, yada. And I think everybody would widely agree that, I mean, obviously you look at their draft pedigree that Todd Gurley is a superior talent, quote unquote, to uh, Jordan Howard. Yes. But still fell victim to a horrific. Uh, sophomore season from an efficiency and overall effectiveness standpoint. So I think that, I don't know, for me, rubber rubber meets the road franchise. Where would you take Jordan Howard in a fantasy draft? Have you done any, like, mocks or NFL 10s at all? I have not. Me neither. I've been just studying prospects. Yeah, I've had no interest in doing it at all, but just for for a conversation's sake. I haven't. But I feel like when last season ended, like, Jordan Howard was being discussed as maybe an end-of-first-round pick maybe in a 12 team league mm-hmm. so he was like a fringe first rounder but now like with all these moves the bears are making it's hard to be optimistic about this situation you'd think they would improve their team it feels like they're making it worse mm-hmm. like they had at least they had alshon jeffrey last year right like he's a talented guy to to open up the offense and you know draw some attention so that's probably going to make a difference they don't have him anymore uh but I don't know. I I don't know what Jordan Howard's ADP is. So right now. second, would you would you take him? Would you take him in the second round? Probably like mid mid, mid pro- early or late. Probably like mid second round. All right. So I'm just pulling up uh, the ADP on Fantasy Football Calculator right now, which is you know whatever. Um, so he is currently the sixth running back off the board, behind obviously David Johnson, Le'Veon Bell, Ezekiel Elliott, Lashawn McCoy, and Melvin Gordon. Right. So that's take all those guys ahead of him. Yeah. Okay, and then and he's currently sixth running back off the board at first round, tenth overall pick in, out of a twelve team league. Right behind him, you have Devonta Freeman, Demarco Murray, Jay Ajayi, Todd Gurley, Lamar Miller, Carlos Hyde, and Mark Ingram are all second round picks. Would you take any of them ahead of Jordan Howard? I'd probably take uh, Devonta Freeman and maybe Demarco Murray ahead of him. Mm. Not Jay Ajayi. Mm, I think I would take it. I, I would, would probably do a Jai too. Yeah. Yep. I would yeah. take a Jai. I, I really. I mean, I've always been like a big Jai fan, and uh, I think obviously his production was a bit more sporadic last year. Yeah. Um, there were issues on the offensive line and all these things. Definitely, and and maybe that is, you know, maybe that's solved this year. Maybe it's not. But uh, I like the potential for those big boom games. I also just trust. I trust the Dolphins' offense more right now at this yeah. point. You yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the, like. That that would be the tiebreaker for sure. But the but back to the subject line: Todd Gurley, Lamar Miller, Carlos Hyde, Mike, Mar, eh, my, my, Carlos Hyde, Mark Ingram, all those guys definitely after. Yeah, I would probably take Howard over all okay. those guys. Yeah, I think that's, I just like what he did last year. I thought he was great. I mean, he played on film; he was great. Mm-hmm. Uh, every pretty much metric would say he was great. Uh, yeah, just. I think the low. I think the flo- floor is pretty low there. Yeah, luckily it's kind of it's kind of like uh, like what Carlos Hyde was l- like coming into last season, right? Because talented cause, back, yeah, bad every, offense. Everyone knew the Niners were gonna just be terrible, and he got the volume. And he what was he like an RB two, like yeah. a, maybe a low end RB two. So I feel like maybe that's where or what we're looking at for Howard heading into this fantasy draft season. I'll tell you what, man. Some of these running back ADPs are gross. I don't really want to take any of those guys, to be quite honest with you. But like I said, I haven't really dug into uh, dug into fantasy that much. But It's going to be tough. Anyways, yeah, so good good chat on, on Jordan Howard there. Let's see, that's 
what's a, a little spinoff from a boring news segment. I like it. Um, we, we got there from Kevin White. See, thanks, Kevin White. Maybe you will bounce back. Probably not, though. Mm, probably not. But he, at least he inspired a nice little debate. Yeah. Okay, so next segment here, building our offensive group. They're hipsters, but I'm way more hipper.